Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube. Uh, I'm here just to debunk a certain myth that is doing the rounds about what Triple C President Nelson Chamisa said about the land when he uh, formally launched his party's campaign rally uh, in Kweru uh, last weekend. This is necessitated by the fact that uh, there are people who are spreading misinformation about what the Triple C leader actually said about the land. And the claim is that Chamisa, addressing his uh, supporters, said that he's going to return the land to white commercial farmers who were displaced by the ZANU PF agrarian reform, which began in 2000. And because we are here partly to debunk myths and counter misinformation, we cannot let this be because it is our belief that if people have to judge someone or an organization, they should base this on facts. So we are going to play the video bit by bit uh, in which Nelson Chamisa spoke about the land. Because he did speak about the land, he did speak about displacement, but we want to put this into context because it's been taken out of context to actually blame him for what he did not say. And as a piece of propaganda and misinformation, this has been used by especially his main opponents to try and trash his campaign through exaggerations. So I would want us to play this bit and listen to what Chamisa actually said. Lend to the people and title this to the people. This is what he first said. He says that he was in Jilonga, that is Manika land, and people there pleaded with him that when he gets into power, they want to be given back their land. And he is saying that he doesn't want people to live like paupers in their own country. Now, where does this come from? You will remember that in 2021, the government wanted to evict, actually published a government cassette in which it sought to evict between 12,000 and 13,000 Zimbabweans from their ancestral lands to create space for a mine. They actually published statutory instrument uh, 50 of 2021 for the removal of the Chilonga people in Chiretsi from their ancestral home to pave way for a dairy company, 10 dairy, to run a Lucene grass farming project. So this is a quackway based private milk producer which was eyeing 10,000 hectares of arable land for the Lucent project. So this is what Chamisa first spoke about. Let us listen again to the next part of this video. <laughs> As if he knew that some of his words would be taken out of context or maliciously twisted to mean something else. He says, I'm not here to divide the country. And there are people who are saying that when I come in, I'm going to take you, to evict you from the farms that you inherited as part of the agrarian reform. But that is a lie. And he's saying that, you'll remember that there are many people who were recycled on previously commercially 
white owned commercial farms and he is saying that these people because they don't have anything which uh, shows that they own that piece of land except that they support ZANU PF he is therefore going to give them title deeds instead of evicting them from those farms and returning them to their white owners he's going to give these people where he settled their title deeds so that they have some level of ownership other than just being perceived as supporters of a certain party fine there is a lot of legalities there is a lot of ideological contestations as to whether people should have title deeds on reserved land or not but that is a topic for another day let's go on again and listen further to what chamisa actually said we want to correct that resources for everyone land for everyone and we want more opportunities not taking it when you come out he goes on further to say that people should have title deeds on the land or to the land that they are settled in because right now they are being told that because they are on reserved land they don't have any ownership of that land they can be removed and he mentions places where people have been evicted to create space for projects that are run by people from outside and he's saying that you've been told that it's called reserved land because it's not reserved for you but for other people from outside so he's saying that people should have ownership and not just be evicted from areas or from a resource which is natural and a resource which through birthright they must own it is clear that he's talking about indigenous black people who are being evicted or threatened with eviction to create space for multinational companies some of them owned by the chinese others owned by people with a connection to the ruling elite no way is he saying that he's going to recycle or is going to reverse the land reform as has been claimed in some quarters. Let us continue again. Yeah, land is an important point. Where Saka Biswa Paland Anofana Kuzore. Is so it has a good lithium, grana pigita minerals, you know to originary my raw materials. Muno Akuna no Tora if read my raw material, beneficiation, value addition, create jobs, my factory, This is where the point of contention comes from. When he says that everyone who was affected should be given back their land is not talking about white farmers but is talking about indigenous blacks who have been evicted or are being threatened with eviction from their ancestral lands to create space for some companies some mining concessions or people who are connected to the ruling elite so we thought that we had to debunk this myth so that we may not agree with what he's saying we may have some contestations or questions about what he's saying but we thought that it has to be put into context as a way of fighting misinformation disinformation and baseless propaganda thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it